Manchester United endured a difficult afternoon on Sunday, as Southampton held them to a goalless draw at Old Trafford. The Red Devils were the favourites to win this Premier League tie due to Southampton's poor form. The Saints came into Sunday's game at the foot of the table, with just six league wins to their name, yet United failed to break down their stubborn defence. If anything, Southampton will be frustrated at their failure to make Casemiro's first half red card count, especially when James Ward-Prowse and Kyle Walker both found the woodwork. Here are the main talking points from a drab afternoon in Manchester. United fans would have been surprised by Ten Hag's decision to start Fernandes, Weghorst, Anthony, Sancho and Rashford. Fred was left out to make room for another attacker, as United wanted to take advantage of Southampton's vulnerable defence. The Saints conceded 41 goals in 25 Premier League games, heading into the game. Fernandez was deployed just ahead of Casemiro in a deeper role, as Sancho occupied the number 10 position. Ten Hag resisted playing Weghorst in the latter role, and gave Rashford the nod in his favoured left-wing spot. With this amount of attacking talent on the pitch, Southampton boss Ruben Sellers would have been forgiven for fearing an attacking onslaught. However, the Red Devils failed to put their guests to the sword. Southampton boasted 48% of the ball during the opening half an hour and restricted United to just one shot on target as they looked short of ideas and inspiration. If anything, Southampton seemed the most likely to score. They almost found the net when Theo Walcott came up with one of Southampton's best chances of the game in the form of a thundering header. United's start went from bad to worse in the 34th minute when Casemiro was given his marching orders for the second time in just over a month. The Brazilian went clattering into Carlos Alcaraz and was fortunate to receive just a booking from Anthony Taylor. But the VAR official Mark Perry told Taylor to take another look at the challenge and froze the video at the point where six studs were planted on Alcaraz's right leg, forcing Taylor to swap the yellow card he issued earlier for red. Casemiro has become the first United player to receive two red cards in a single Premier League campaign since Nemanja Vidic nine years ago. The former Real Madrid midfielder has undoubtedly improved United's midfield, but has to find his softer touch if he wants the referee's cards to stay in the pocket. With Arsenal beating Fulham, Sunday's results mean United are now 16 points behind the Premier League leaders and eight ahead of Liverpool in fifth. With just 12 Premier League fixtures remaining, perhaps it is now time for Ten Hag to prioritise other competitions. United have a great chance of winning the Europa League after beating Spanish outfit Real Betis at home in the first leg of their last 16 tie. United will expect to reach the quarter-finals and there are not many big teams remaining in UEFA's secondary club competition. Sevilla and Juventus are some of those still in the mix, while Arsenal will probably prioritise their Premier League title hunt. United has already won a trophy this season, but will be keen on doubling up with Champions League qualification almost in the bag. The Red Devils are also going strong in the FA Cup, with a quarter-final at home to Fulham on the horizon. Although the gap between United and Arsenal is annoying for Ten Hag, it does offer them the rare chance to focus on other competitions. And for now, a moment for our sponsor. Phoenix Asia Academy and IEG Campus are collaborating with Glasgow Caledonian University to make MBAs accessible for all. Whether you are a fresh graduate or working professional, GCU has the program just for you. Click the link in the description for more details. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.